IMF raises 2023 global economic growth forecast to 3%, India remains bright spot. The International Monetary Fund, IMF, on Tuesday, July 25, slightly raised the outlook for global growth this year given the resilient economy, particularly, service sector activity in the first quarter of 2023. However, the global lender also warned about the persistent challenges which are dampening the medium-term outlook. Meanwhile, India's projection of economic growth is at 6.1% in this year. In its latest, World Economic Outlook, WEO, the IMF projected global real GDP growth of 3.0% for this year, which is 0.2 percentage points higher than its April forecast. But the global growth is expected to stay there and the forecast for 2024 remained unchanged at 3.0% a midweek growth among the world's advanced economies. The growth forecast was slightly raised as the IMF noted ease in soaring inflation as well as in the acute stress that the banking sector witnessed. We are not out of the woods yet and growth remains on the low side, IMF chief economist Pierre-Olivier Gorinches told AFP, in an interview. What we are seeing when we look five years out is actually close to 3.0%, maybe a little bit above 3.0%. This is a significant slowdown compared to what we had pre-COVID, the IMF chief economist told Reuters. The global economic growth is nearly half of what it was in two years with 6.3% and also lower than 3.5% in 2022, the well noted. Gorinch has told Reuters how the lowered growth is also related to the aging of the global population particularly in countries like China. Japan, and Germany. Lower inflation. According to the IMF, the global headline inflation may fall to 6.8% this year, from 8.7% in 2022 and may witness a further drop to 5.2% next year. On the other hand, core inflation would decline more gradually, with 6.0% in 2023 from 6.5%, last year to 4.7% in 2024. Gorinch has told Reuters we might have to wait until the end of 2024 or early 2025 to see the drop in inflation which the central bankers have targeted and the current cycle of monetary tightening would end. However, the IMF notes that if the war in Ukraine were to intensify, given Russia's backing out of the Black Sea grain deal, and the world witnesses a rise in extreme weather events due to the El Nino weather pattern, it could raise the prices of commodities. This in turn could trigger further rate hikes. The IMF has said the world is a better place than it was and also hailed the World Health Organization's decision to end the global health emergency due to COVID-19, which has reduced shipping costs and delivery times to pre-pandemic levels.